The fastest way to build your bank is through combat and in this video I'll be covering the best slayer and bossing money making methods for solo players. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. Now everyone knows Telos is incredible money even when just doing claims instead of streaks you're able to make well over 150 million GP per hour on average at higher rages. But what if you don't want to learn Telos? Well the next best money maker is Tuskal Zuck, a wave based boss that has both a normal and hard mode. While this boss is a PVM challenge, once you've done it a few times it should start feeling like something you can farm. Tuskal Zuck is a whopping 61 million GP per clear or kill in hard mode, which means you'll be able to get 122 million GP per hour if you can clear two hard modes in a single hour. But even if you can do that, at one clear per hour it's still one of the best money makers in this game for solo players. But maybe hard mode is a little bit too difficult, well 2-3 to three clears per hour normal mode you're still making 40-60 to 60 million GP per hour on average. Now most of the money you'll be making at Tuskal Zuck is going to come from those big Big drops which are luck dependent and so will most of your money coming from the next method which is a slayer method. Abyssal Lords requiring level 115 slayer are such good money they beat out a large majority of high level bosses in this game in average GP per hour. If you fight these Abyssal Lords using magic tank armor, anime dead and a cannon in the asylum, therefore taking on 5 at once and using a Karoming 4 perk on your staff, you're able to get 196 kills per hour which rivals and even beats out the personal owned slayer dungeon method and doesn't require you to collect souls you are able to make 59 million GP per hour. Now the majority of your money will be coming from that rare Abyssal Scourge drop, but even if you don't get that drop, you're still making around 10.5 million GP per hour on average from just the other drops, given that you're picking them up. Now the Scourge rate does assume you're doing these on task, because the Abyssal Scourge is a 1 in 2000 drop if you're on task, and if you're not on task, you're only getting 1 every 10,000 kills or so, if you go exactly on drop rate. So basically do these when you're on task and you can force a daily task by using the Mask of the Abyss every single day and the uncompleted version of that mask also provides you with double loot on your 10th kill so be sure to bring that along because you could just double that scourge and make double the bank. Now what if you're looking for something more consistent and less RNG based in terms of money making? Well in that case for bossing you should absolutely go ahead and learn Elite Dungeon 1 also known as the Temple of Amanishi. Now where you make your money in this dungeon is at the final boss known as Seryu, because the rest of the dungeon really won't make you that much money, although the commons and the occasional thing here and there from Asuta might make up for your supplies. The final boss drops ancient skills, which can range from 900k to 1.1 million GP depending on when you're watching this video. Now these skills are dropped in different amounts, but on average you should be able to get 12 to 14.4 ancient skills per run over a long period of time, and the 14.4 assumes you have the chest upgrade or the chest toggle so that you have that 20% double chance. The maximum amount of skills you can receive is 220 if it ends up doubling on the 110 skill drop, which would make you a huge amount of money in a single go. Now what if you want a consistent Slayer Moneymaker? Well, the next Moneymaker doesn't even necessarily require Slayer level depending on what monster you're actually killing for these items. It's using binding contracts to capture souls and then sell those on the Grand Exchange. Now binding contracts are a sort of summoning pouch you create using pouches, blue charms and spirit shards, blood of orcas and hellfire metal. And once you have these created, you can't actually buy the binding contracts themselves the ones you use to capture souls, you can go ahead and kill a couple of monsters to capture their souls and each kill will provide you with one binding contract of that creature. Once you have a bunch of those stacked up and you can make around 2.3 thousand of them per hour at the Savily Summoning Shop if you sell the supplies, you're going to be making 20 to 40 million GP per hour collecting these binding contracts which is just absurd money. One tip I have for you, if you're doing the Calgarian Demon ones which are currently the best profit per pouch, you can do these AFK inside Elite Dungeon 3 story mode, which basically is very easy for anyone to do because you take 10% of the initial damage. You can just AFK them after having killed Tarakate in this exact spot you can see on screen. Just be sure to bring along a Vampire Zamora and you'll be fine. Now another incredible money maker is killing living wyverns and these are incredibly consistent while also having a rare drop as well. As wyvern bones are going through the roof and are currently at like 28,000 GP, you can make so much money from just getting the bones and the other common drops without even getting a wyvern crossbow drop which is just the cherry on the cake. 
These can be anywhere from 40 to 55 million GP per hour, depending on how try hard you go. I think it's reasonable if you have a good melee setup to get over 350 kills per hour here, but if you're trying very hard with melee or with magic even, if you have magic tank arm and enemy dead, you can get to near 500 kills per hour here, which is just absurd. Now, if you want to make your life very easy here, be sure to use the death note relic to note all the bones and then use the upgraded bone crusher, which will automatically pick up every single bone except for the regular noted drops you can also get the little clusters it will just make this entire method so much more smooth moving back to a little bit more rng and luck we have carapac now killing carapac in all mode is an okay money maker but killing carapac in hard mode is an incredible money maker especially if you keep going at it until you get a staff piece. Now, Carapac on average, with all rare drops included, will make you 9.35 million GP per kill. And if you can get a kill every 10 minutes, you're making 56.1 million GP per hour. But let's say you get a little bit more experienced and you get faster kills and you keep learning and getting better at phase four. Well, if you get 10 kills per hour, which is a kill every six minutes, you're able to get 93.5 million GP per hour, which is, again, one of the best money makers in this game. One downside to Carapac, though, is that the drops feel pretty rare at 1 in 450 per loot pile, so 1 in 150 in solos as you get three piles. Well, if you go dry for more than 150 kills, that's going to be a bit painful. Something I personally find a little easier than Carapac Hard Mode is simply farming the newest boss in the game, Zamrak Lord of Chaos, at 99% in rage. Now, Zamrak should provide you with a good amount of money in commons, around 3 million GP per kill, and you also have a chance of getting rares. Now, because the drop rates aren't known, we don't know how much that is, but I'm going to assume it's at least 2 million GP per kill on top of the GP per kill you're already getting on average from those rare drops, as some of them are fairly expensive, especially the 295 bow pieces. So that means at 10 kills per hour, which is one kill every six minutes, you're making 50 million GP per hour. If you're getting 15 kills per hour, that's 75 million GP per hour, which is very good. And in groups of five players constantly skipping the mechanics, you should be getting kills that are around three and a half to four minutes long. If you're looking for something even more casual, the following two methods are so easy that you can literally go to sleep while doing them, given that you have the gear requirements. It's blood barraging, moss golems, and nightmare creatures, which are both fantastic tasks to AFK. All you need is some magic tank armor pieces, and it doesn't need to be crippling, you can use sea singers, it doesn't matter, a noxious staff, some prey potions, or powder of penance, your cannon, overloads, and you just AFK away. Blood barrage them while you're on task to make a lot of money, well, when you get a drop. It does take some time to get a drop. Most golems with this legacy setup are around 570 kills per hour and will be making you 41 million GP per hour. The majority of that money will be coming from the Grimoire pages, which you'll occasionally get, and the Cinderbane gloves, which are very expensive, and a 1 in 1500 drop when on Slayer task. Nightmare creatures are very similar, except instead of 108 Slayer, they require level 80 Slayer, and they require the children of Mark West to be killed. The setup you use for Nightmare Creatures is virtually the same thing, and the reason you're doing them is almost the same as well. You're doing them for a rare glove drop, in this case Nightmare Gauntlets, which are a 1 in 2000 drop on Slayer Task, or a 1 in 10,000 drop of Slayer Task. Now, standing in this exact spot, you should see around 590 kills per hour, which is only around 24 million GP per hour, which is far less than the Moss Golems. But even then, they are a worthy task of putting on your preferred list as they are afk able and really easy to get to. Next up, we have killing Raksha. Now, Raksha is a good boss to kill because on average, you'll be making around 4.65 million GP per kill. But that is including the very rare expensive drops, which are the Greater Chain and Greater Ricochet Ability Codices. The reason I'm including Raksha in this video is because, thanks to a revolution guide, which I made a video guide of, linked in the description below, by the way, you're able to get 12 to 15 kills per hour here without too too much input because revolution does all the work for you you don't need to pray or flick you only need to react to the mechanics that 12 to 15 kill per hour rate will net you 55 to 70 million gp per hour which is very good and if you like luck based money making methods this might just be one of the more fun ones as well now if you happen to have level 115 dungeoneering which is not boostable by the way otherwise you would have seen my own footage here as i'm level 113 myself 
you're able to kill Edimu. Now, thanks to Loot Shark, I'm able to include some footage here of him using the ranged luring method, which is a very effective way of taking out Edimu and will get you over 500 kills per hour, which is around 21 million GP per hour. Most of your money will be coming from the Blood Necklace Shard and the Tortured Ashes, which will be noted on the floor if you have the Death Note Relic. So be sure to turn that on before you go and kill these on task, because they're only killable on task. Now, instead of doing Elite Dungeon 1 for consistency, doing Elite Dungeon 2 and Elite Dungeon 3 are still very good methods of obtaining money. Money. Elite Dungeon 2 is around 15.3 million GP per clear, where the most of your money will be coming from Draconic Energy, which is fairly consistent, and the Greater Fury, Barge, and Flurry Codices. Elite Dungeon 3 may be more money per kill, although that may not be accurate as the Eldex Crossbow went down a little bit in price at around 19 million GP per clear is pretty much a boom or bust method. If you don't get an Eldritch Crossbow piece, you're not going to be making money here. That being said, you can still expect a good amount of money here at 30 to 58 million GP per hour on average in the long run. Here are some honorable mentions to some methods that did not make it into the video for a variety of different reasons. If you're an incredibly skilled PVM man, you can solo Virago, making over 100 million GP per hour is not something that's unheard of. Araxor simply wasn't in this video because the GP per hour at around 20 to 35 million GP per hour, depending on your kill times, just wasn't high enough to be in this video video. Lone Rage Arc Laser Streaking was high enough to be in this video, but wasn't included because the Frozen Core just simply is so rare at Lone Rages, I cannot recommend doing this boss. Now I'm fully aware that there are many more great combat money makers like AFKing Abyssal Beasts or Killing Glacers, AFKing Spiritual Warriors, you know there's a bunch of other ones but these are some of the best and that's why they're in this video. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.